and trust me padding and spacing are like the salt and the pepper of web design too little blend too much over season it but uh, just the right amount perfect the table wise so grab your notepad or don't because it uh, 2024 and can we copy paste everything anyway okay and let's make uh, some classy comfortable html tables that your users and boss will love so let's start padding and spacing because tables without it like are like a pizza without cheese and actable so guys in today's html video i am telling you about the what a table and the table what a padding and spacing so let's know about it without wasting any time and let's know about in the html what a table is padding and spacing HTML tables can adjust the padding inside the cells and also the space between the cells. Like this one example with the this is the one example with the padding and this is one example with the with the spacing. Here you can see it. There are many differences. Here you can see it. Now, HTML table cell padding. Cell padding is the space between the cell edges at the cell content. By the default, the padding is set to zero. To add a padding on the table cells, use the CSS padding property. Which property is CSS padding property? So to do this, you only want to do it. Uh, first of all, I have already told you that how to create a table in my first video of the table series. Okay. Now let me open my. Uh, let me create a one file by the name of index.html, and I am making this file on my documents. Uh, anywhere you make your file, uh, make this file. This is your own choice. Now I'm pasting this code here. Now, first of all, I created a table, and I have already told you that how to create a table. So I did not tell you one more time. Okay, if you are seeing my all videos, you must know how to create a table. Then I only uh, write here t in the th and td. I wrote here padding should be 15 pixels. So let's see what is the difference. Give me save it and let me open my in the document. Let me open my file. Where is my file? Where is my file? Okay, there is my file. Open it. Now it is giving me like this. Here you can see it. Now when I remove the padding, save and run. So here you can see without the padding, it is looking like this. But when we when we add a padding, so now it is looking like this. Here you can see. With the padding, it is looking very beautiful, or without the padding, it is looking beautiful. So tell me in the comment. So sorry, let me open it. My word. To add padding only above the content, use the padding top property. Which property? Padding top property. If you add a padding only above the content. So, and the other, uh, other sites with the padding bottom and padding left and padding right properties. Okay, you give him the uh, padding top should be 10 pixels give. Padding bottom should be 20 pixels. Padding left 30 pixels and padding right 40 pixels. So, let me give it. Remove it. Padding. Top should be 10. Then get padding 20. And then 30. And then 40. Okay. Padding bottom left right. Okay. Now perfect. Now, when we give 10, 20, 30, 40 pixels, now save it and run it. So, you can see it. With the padding, it is looking like this. Now, HTML table cell spacing. Cell spacing is the name, is the, is the space between each cell. 
but the default uh, by the default the space is set to 2 pixels to change the space between table cells use the css border spacing property on the table element how you only want uh, you only want to do it you only enter press here and give the table border slash spacing enter now this type of thing has been came and give the 30 pixels so now let's see the difference save it and then run it so you can see it like this your padding it is looking here you can see it there's many difference it is now looking beautiful when we add our uh, padding here you can see it or you can also be change the padding so let me start it with using the css let me give him to the a background color should be black and uh, i'm giving color should be white font family should be poppins comma sensor save it and run it so now it is looking like this border i am giving him to be red save it and run it so now perfect not red white and then i am adding space table comma th comma td i am giving him to the hover Bang color should be red, transition should be 3.35. Save it and run it. So now it, it is hovering. So like that. So like that, you give the padding, or you or if you want to change your padding, so we will also change it. Like only give the padding. It will be 50 pixels. Save it and run it. So now it is looking like this. Or if you want to small your padding, or you will be also be small your tag pixels. Save it. Or you give your padding should be five pixels, so you will be also be give it. Here you can see it. But five pixels is very small. Okay, let me give fifteen pixels. So fifteen pixels is all right, I think so. Yeah, fifteen pixels is enough. Or you can add uh, many cells in your here. Okay, like you also make cells like let me show you, like first name, last name, age, and then birth date and add here birth date like uh, 8 like 12 less 12 less 10 and then copy it and then paste it again and give him should be 1979 the uh, and then 50 sorry not 50 uh, 10 now perfect then enter press again here then paste it and give him should be 2001 like uh, uh, give the month should be like 5 and we are adding one more cell in my table and uh, date it should be 20 save it and then run it so you can see one more cell has been added or if you want to add one more cell so you will be also be added so like that that you will be add a padding to your uh, to your table here you can see it or you want to increase your padding so it will be also be increased uh, using the padding property so uh, here you can see in today's video of html i told you about in the html what a table is padding and spacing so i hope you can enjoy this class and if you enjoy so please like this video share it, and subscribe to my channel and i uh, one more thing i have told you without the padding our table uh, let me show you without the padding our my table is looking like this here you can see it very very dirty like that but with the padding with the padding our table will be look like this here you can see it now it is looking beautiful so like that you can do it and you will be add a uh, padding and spacing to your table so now uh, please access my full stick web development playlist and bookmark it also and please access my html playlist and bookmark it also and there you have it HTML table padding and spaces made easy. Now, your tables can breathe, your data looks amazing, and your ball might finally say, good job, instead of just fix it, okay? If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with that one friend who thinks spacing it isn't important. Trust me, they need help. Until next time, remember tables with good padding and spacing are like life with good friends, perfectly balanced. See you soon.